Hi, my name is Ajwa Mirikua Ampoma. As we all know, Ghana is in economic difficulties. As a matter of fact, our debt is beyond sustainable levels. Reason for going to IMF for help. As part of Ghana's preparations towards getting a deal with IMF, the government has come up with the Domestic Debt Exchange Program. The question we are asking, bearing in mind that over 70% of Ghana's population is below the age of 35 years, we want to find out from the youth their understanding of the IMF conversation, its implications, and how best as a country we can carry the youth along the IMF journey. So as an IT person and a young man, I think um, this economic hardship is going to increase a lot of cyber threats in our country because um, the youth will not have any meaningful job to do and then the um, people can lure them with money to venture into cyber um, crime, which I think will be a big blow to the country. Okay, so I, I don't think it's the best policy because if you are going to cut off our interest as a young as a young person who has money to save for years, if I have plans of doing something and now you're going to cut off my interest because you owe so much, which is something I don't know how you even got there in the first place, then it's not being fair to me. Whilst you could have used other means of catering for your domestic debt, then I think it's not best because it's going to create um, a set of youth that we don't know what the future holds for us. So we are willing to do anything possible, even if it's illegal, to get whatever we need to be able to survive. So it's not the best policy for the youth that are coming up. Maybe for the politicians, it's good for them, but we as the youth, it's very bad for us. How do you feel about that? I feel angry. Mm. Very angry. As a young person who has started working, and then I've been able to save money. And then all of a sudden, I don't even know the context, the premise within which these negotiations were made. Amanda. And with the little security background I have, I am much worried about how frustrated the youth are going to be. Yes, because um, if we don't manage this particular situation very well, it is feared that the security of Ghana is going to suffer some severe setbacks. I have a mutual fund with Data Bank and um, Data Bank takes this savings and that of its other customers and it puts it, um, it buys some of the government treasury bills and so it means that my interest for 2022 as well as 2023 I'm not going to get it and for me that is worrying because mutual funds are meant to be um, short-term investments to defray certain costs. So I'm now wondering to myself, when it's January, when I'm about to, you know, renew or do that payment, how am I going to do that now? Because the money is locked up over there. I may get access to it, but I may not, I may not get it at the rate at which I thought I would get it. Me, for instance, if I am to save some money in the bank assistance, I would rather keep it or use it for another venture because there will be no profits coming from it or the profits I should be expecting wouldn't be what I'm getting. So the implications are a lot. It's, it's yeah, a lot, a lot. Talking to some Ghanaian youth, we called you Jews that not much is known about IMF and the conversations surrounding it. The question we ask them is, how best as a country can we carry the youth along the IMF journey in making them understand everything they need to know and the conditionality surrounding it, how does it impact their lives?